Welcome geniuses, I'm Genie, your best buddy for A-Levels. In this channel, we'll bring you to explore the secret formula behind success. In this chapter, Numerical Solution of Equations, I'm going to teach you about the use of iterative formula. Before I start explaining about iterative formula, have a look at this equation. x minus 2 sine x equals 0. Can this equation be solved? You can try it, but the answer is a no. Because when you try to solve it, let's say I put the x over here and the 2 sine x at the other side. Then can we cancel this x? The answer is no, which means this equation actually cannot be solved algebraically. So how can this equation be solved? There are actually three approaches that we can use to solve this equation. The first method is by using graphical solution method. The second method is by using the location of roots in an interval. And the third method is iteration. And the method that we are going to focus on today is the iteration method. Before we can start solving an equation by using iteration method, we must know what is an iterative formula. An iterative formula is an equation in this form, where the x at the left hand side must be labeled with n plus 1 and the x at the right hand side must be labelled with n and there must be only one x at the left hand side for example have a look at this equation so how we can arrange it into an iterative formula the x here we can put at the left hand side as for the two sign x just put it at the right hand side so for the left hand side the x must be labelled with n plus 1 as for the right hand side, the x must be labeled with n. So this gives you an iterative formula. And actually, there's another iterative formula for this equation. So let's say, now I arrange the 2 sine x at the left hand side and the x at the right hand side. So what to do is, we have to arrange it into this form where it can be only x at the left hand side. So what to do now is just throw away the 2 to the right hand side. So it becomes x over 2. And the x here will be equals to inverse sine x over 2. So for the x at the left hand side, we should label with n plus 1. As for the x at the right hand side, it should be labeled with n. So this gives you another iterative formula. So during the exam, actually, you don't need to worry about how to form the iterative formula because it's usually given in the question. So have a look at the note down here. To use the iterative formula, a first value, the x1, must be chosen either by sketching a graph or by looking for a change in sign or by using try and error method according to the tips from the previous part. Now let's see how we can use the iterative formula to solve this equation. So according to the question, starting with x1 equals to 1, so the initial value, the first value is given, which is a 1. And you are asked to use this iterative formula to find x2, x3, x4, and x5. So read the question carefully. You are asked to write down the first four decimal places of each term, keeping the accurate figure on the calculator for the following calculation and find the value to which this sequence converges correct to two decimal places. So what does it mean by converge? Converge means the values will keep on changing until eventually when it stops changing, it will stop at a fixed value. So we say the sequence actually converges to a fixed value, which is the answer of the equation, which is the root of the equation. So now let's try. We have x1 equals 1. So to find x2, how to make use of the iterative formula to find x2? So according to the formula here, if the n plus 1 here is a 2, 
which means the n should be a 1. So we should sub in a 1 here. So the x2 should be equals to 2 sine x1. And the x1 answer is a 1. So you just need to press calculator to get 2 sine 1, which is 1.6. 829. And remember, for this chapter, everything must be in radians and not degree. So now, let's say to find x3, if let's say I want to find x3, if here is a 3, that means the n should be a 2. So I should sub 2 into here. So x3 should be equal to 2 sine x2, which is the answer from the previous part, 2 sine 1.6829 but you must keep the accurate figure on your calculator for the calculation here so you just need to press to sign the answer in your calculator which is 1.9874 so x4 should be to sign x3 so the answer should be 1.8289 x5 it should be 2 sine x4 so the answer should be 1.9337 this is how we make use of the iterative formula let's try to answer the last part here find the value to which this sequence converges correct to two decimal places which means when you calculate for the x6 x7 x8 x9 and so on you notice that the number gets closer and closer to a fixed value so we will say that this sequence actually converge to a fixed value the fixed value is the answer of this equation so let's try now how to find out the x6 you just need to keep on doing the same thing again, again, and again. So when you do something repeatedly, this method is called iteration. Right? So to get x6, you will just need to press your calculator and get 1.8697. x7 will be 1.9113 x8 is 1.8852 x9 1.9020 x10 1.8913 How we know when can we stop? Because the question mentioned that they want the final answer correct to two decimal places. So when we have round up this answer correct to two decimal places and it's the same, then we can stop. So let's check. For this one, when we round up, it's 1.87. This one is 1.91, it's different. 1.89, different. 1.90, different. And 1.89 is still different. But you can see that the pattern actually gets closer and closer to a fixed value which is 1.90 or 1.89 so now just keep on finding x11 is 1.8981 x12 is 1.8938 still different x13 is 1.89 Six, six. Still different. X14, 1.8948. X15, 1.8959. X16, 1.8952. So now, have you noticed something? Here, when you round up, is 1.90. 1.89, 1 1.90, 1 1.89, 1 1.90, and 1.90. So it's repeated. So 
So once the answer is repeated, then we can stop pressing the calculator and conclude that the final answer is actually 1.90. This is the solution of the equation x equals to 2 sine x by using the iteration method. There's one tip here on how to get the answers quickly, like how to get the x6, x7, x8, x9 in just by clicking one button. Instead of every time when you want to find the values, you have to sub the previous answer into here and type again in your calculator. It's a waste of time. So what to do here is, let's say for this example, we start with a 1. So what to do now is you key in 1 in your calculator and you press the equal sign. So the calculator will keep the 1 as the answer in the calculator. So what to do to find x2, you are supposed to sub the 1 into the x here. So what we do is we key in the equation that we need to sub in, which is 2 sine, and the x you replace with the answer button. And then you press the equal sign. So then the calculator will automatically sub the 1 into the answer here to get the x2. So in order to get the x3, isn't it you're supposed to sub in this answer into here? And the x, we have already changed it into answer, which means now when we press the equal sign again, then the calculator will automatically sub the x2 answer into this part to get the x3. So when you want to get the x4, you press another time equal sign. To get x5, equal again. To get x6, equal again. Until the answer converge to a fixed value, which is the root of the equation. That's all for today's video. If you are interested in more genuine sharing by other geniuses, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Ding dong. Also, if you're struggling with one or two past your questions and the March scheme just doesn't seem to help, Genius got you covered. Feel free to let us know what question it is by filling in the Google form linked in the description below. Genius Hub will get genius teachers to fulfill your request for the solution. Genie will see you next time. Bye-bye.